हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू जैकल एजुकेशनल चैनल सो दिस इज द रिविजन सीरीज एंड दिस इज द पार्ट फोर ऑफ द रिविजन एंड दो चेक द प्रीवियस रिविजन यू कैन चेक द लिंक गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो सो वी आर गोइंग फॉर द रेपिड रिविजन एंड इट वी वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर द एडमिनल साइंस एग्जामिनेशन सो लेट स्टार्ट टू डेज वीडियो so the first question is these questions are taken from the environmental science net paper of previous question the first question is for a thermally comfortable seated bare bodied person at 25 degree celsius the maximum energy loss will be due to which of the following process so here the correct option will be option number 4 the evaporation process will be the particular reason for the maximum energy loss of that person Next question is identify the statement which best describes the second law of thermodynamics. So here the correct option will be option number 4. Yes when an isolated system undergoes a spontaneous change the entropy that is delta s of the universe increases. So this is the correct description of the second law of thermodynamics. Let's move to the next question. The third question is the Battle Columbus environmental evaluation system is used to assess the impact of which of the following projects and here the correct option will be option number 3 water resource projects are evaluated through battle columbus environmental evaluation system let's move to the question number 4 the question 4 is select the incorrect statement about the redox potential of aqueous solution so you have to mark here that it is written which is incorrect and here the incorrect statement is option number 4 yes we should not read because it is as the concentration of hydrogen ion decreases the redox potential decreases it should not be increases let's move to the next question the next question is a numerical which is very simple and most of and the students used to miss this kind of question so let us read the question first the question is in a volumetric titration a 20 ml aqueous hcl solution is needed for 10 ml of 0.1 normality naoh that is sodium hydroxide solution for complete neutralization so here is acid and this is base so acid and base will make the neutralization reaction so the question is asking what will be the concentration of hcl solution so this is very simple we can solve this with the formula that is n1 v1 is equal to n2 v2 so as you can see in this picture n1 is the normality of hcl which we are going to find out in the question so that is given in red so v1 is the volume of hcl that is 20 ml and n2 is normality of sodium hydroxide which is 0.1 and v2 is the volume of sodium hydroxide which is 10 ml so we will put the values and we will get the formula that 0.2 will be the normality of hcl that is option number 1 will be the correct option let's move to the next question the next question is identify the most reducing water sample as inferred from the p values given below so here you should know that the lesser the pe value the more reducing is the water sample so among the four the least value is pe is equal to 5 that's why it will be the most reducing water sample so you should know the range of pe that is the redox potential is from minus 12 to 25 as you know ph value lies from 0 to 14 so pe value lies in between minus 12 to 25 let's move to the next question So the next question is about assertion and reasoning type of question the assertion statement states in an unpolluted and dust free atmosphere the rain water has the ph of 5.6 and reason given is the dissolution of carbon dioxide in rain water produces hydrogen ions so here the correct option will be option number 1 because it is true that in an unpolluted and dust free atmosphere the rain water is slightly acidic that is why it is having ph of 5.6 and the reason is the carbon dioxide present in the atmosphere mixes with the rain water and produces hydrogen ions that is it forms the carbonic acid let's move to the next question the next question is high concentration of pollutants at the ground level during winter season are due to which of the following phenomena so here the correct option will be option number 1 due to radiation inversion there is a high concentration of pollutants at ground level during winter season So inversion you should know lower level of the atmosphere will be having less temperature and as we move up the temperature will increase Moving to the next question the next question is the theme transforming our world 2030 agenda pertains to which kind of goals or action 
so here this theme is pertaining to the sustainable development goals let's move to the next question the next question number 10 is if the tropospheric lapse rate be 6.5 degree celsius per kilometer and if t denotes the temperature and z denotes the altitude then what will be the correct option so that means it is asking the temperature change per altitude will be what so here the correct option will be option number 2 yes because add it says that the lapse rate is 6.5 degree celsius per kilometer that means from the lower level to upper level when we are going as it is mentioned troposphere the temperature will decrease that means here the temperature will be less and here the temperature will be more if we subtract the final value that is less from the more then it will be negative that's why here negative 6.5 degree celsius per kilometer will be the correct option you can see here it is given also dt by dz minus 6.5 and also dz by dt minus 6.5 so dz by dt it will not happen because it is given degree celsius per kilometer so that will be dt by dz let's move to the next question the next question is the main acidic component of the present atmosphere is what so if you have given attention to the last question you could have answered this the answer is option number 4 carbon dioxide is the main reason which is the acidic component for the rain water and present in the atmosphere let's move to the next question the question number 12 is by chemical reaction the hydroxyl radicals fail to remove which of the following trace gases from the atmosphere so here the correct option will be option number 4 cfcs are not removed by the hydroxyl radicals by chemical reaction in the atmosphere so let's move to the next question the next question is based on the casualties reported worldwide which one of the following is the most deadly airborne bacterial disease and here the correct option will be option number 2 whooping cough time for the 14th question the 14th question is urban heat island effect is best studied using the remote sensing in which of the following spectral region so here the correct option will be option number 3 yes both 0.5 to 0.9 micrometer and 10 to 12 micrometer are the best range for studying the urban heat island effect so aap sabko pata hona chahiye what is this urban heat island so the region let us assume this is the place which is having comparatively more temperature than the surrounding rural area so that place will be called as the urban heat island let's move to the next question the next question is about assertion and reasoning so the assertion statement states the black carbon contributes to the global warming and the reason statement is that because black carbon behaves like a black body it contributes to global warming so here the correct option will be option number a because both the statements are correct and r that is the reason is correct explanation of a because black carbon behaves like a black body as it absorbs all the energy which is the heat energy that's why it causes the global warming coming to the 16th question the 16th question is which of the following air pollutants are responsible for the photochemical smog so here the correct option will be all these three a b c are responsible for photochemical smog but sulfur dioxide is not responsible as it is responsible for the sulfur smog let's move to the next question the next question is again a assertion and reasoning type of question the assertion is traffic policemen in urban centers generally suffer from oxygen deficiency the reason statement is carbon dioxide forms a very strong complex with hemoglobin so here the correct option will be option number 3 because assertion statement is correct because the policemen in urban areas suffer from the oxygen deficiency and here the reason is false because carbon monoxide forms strong complex with hemoglobin that is carboxy hemoglobin that's why the policemen suffer from oxygen deficiency when they are standing in front of the polluted city next move to the 18th question the 18th question is in the gaussian plume model the effective stack height is the sum of actual stack height and the plume rise which depends on which of the following so here the correct option will be option number 4 because it is depending on the buoyancy of the exhaust gas momentum of the exhaust gas and stability of the atmosphere so it is not depending on the emission rate of the pollutant coming to the 19th question the assertion and reasoning the assertion statement states 
global shipping is a source of net cooling of atmosphere. And the reason says ships are responsible for the significant amount of sulfur emission. So here the correct option will be option number 1 as both the statements are correct and explanation that is ships which are used for shipping are significant amount of sulfur emitter. That's why this sulfur results in the net cooling of atmosphere. Time for the question number 20th. 20th is also assertion and reasoning type of question. The assertion says ozone depletion in stratosphere causes melanoma and reason is ozone is a gas which largely absorbs UVA radiation. So here the correct option will be option number 3 as ozone depletion in stratosphere causes melanomia but reason is not correct because it largely absorbs the UVB radiation. So moving to the next question, question number 21 is tropical cyclone occurs on which of the following scale? So here the correct option will be option number 4 tropical cyclone occurs on synoptic scale. So the next question is match the following in which the list A gives the analyte and list 2 is the method to detect the analyte. So here we have to match with the correct option and the option number A that is lead with used by gravimetric method for its analysis. Number 2 is dissolved oxygen which is used for Winkler method it is used to estimate. Next is sulfur dioxide it is used with the West Geek method to estimate and PAH are used in GCMS technology that is GCMS gas chromatography mass spectroscopy technique. Time for the next question. The next question is three colored sheets of equal thickness are placed in a light beam in front of the light beam and each sheet absorb 20% of the light incident upon it. So what will be the incident light intensity after the third plate? So it is very simple I will let you know. So let us assume these are the three plates. So starting we should assume that the intensity is 100. So according to the question 20% are absorbed. So 80% will be released that will be incident for the second plate. So out of 80 the 20% will be absorbed that is 16 absorbed so 64 will be released. So again this 64 will be incident on the final plate which will absorb 20% and release the rest 80% that is 51.2 percentage will be the correct option. The next question is the biogas produced by the anaerobic digestion is a mixture of which of the following gases. So you have to correctly select the option because it is very confusing and here the correct option will be option number 3 because the biogas is composed of methane, ammonia, carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfide and water vapor. This is very important. Kindly note all these molecules. Time for the next assertion and reasoning question. The next assertion statement is the efficiency of a PV cell. So here PV means photovoltaic cell or solar cell. So it is telling it is limited by the quantum processes involving incident photons and the electrons in the cell. And reason is giving the band gap energy of the semiconducting material used to fabricate the solar cell is less in comparison to energies of photon of isolation. So here the correct option will be option number 3 because the assertion statement is correct as the solar cell the efficiency is limited by the quantum processes involving incident photons and electrons but the band gap energy of the semiconducting material used to fabricate that is to design the solar cell is more so it is not less comparison to the energy of photon of insulation. So that's why Assertion is correct but the reason is false. Time for the next assertion and reasoning. The next assertion statement states the recoverable renewable energy is a fraction of the resource base of the renewable sources available in the world. And what is the reason? The reason given is much of the renewable energy is either of high entropy or too inaccessible to use. So here the correct option will be option number one as both the statements are correct and reason is the correct explanation of the assertion statement. Time for the next question. The next question is again assertion and reasoning so it is bombarded with the assertion and reasoning question. So let us go to the assertion statement. The statement is tidal range is a critical factor in determining whether an estuary would be used for the tidal power production or not. The reason is the tidal power is proportional to the tidal range. Here 
the correct option will be option number 3 yes because the assertion statement is correct as tidal range is the critical factor in determining whether an estuary is ideal for tidal power generation but tidal power is not proportional to the tidal range coming to the next question the next question is the numerical related to solar cell and its illumination so you can check the solution of this kind of questions which we have discussed in the numerical video the link is in the description below but i wanted to tell you whenever someone is asking about the efficiency the main important formula is output divided by the input value so here if you want to percentage in the value of efficiency then you have to multiply by 100 and in case of solar power in input you have to multiply with the area of solar cell if it is given chalte hamare agle question ki taraf the next question is at present which geothermal resource is exploited on commercial scale in the world so here the correct option will be option number 4 hydrothermal energy is the geothermal source which is exploited on commercial scale in the world and the next question is which of the following substances has the maximum energy content in megajoule per meter cube so here the correct option will be so here don't get confused with the hydrogen gas because if it would have given the energy content in megajoule per kg then fourth option will be correct but as it is given in megajoule per meter cube the correct option will be liquid butane the next question is which of the following biofuels is produced from the acidification and distillation of woody crops so here the correct option will be option number one methanol is produced from the acidification and distillation of woody crops let's move to the next question the next question is which of the following bacterium is called the superbug that is used to clean up the oil spills so oil spills which take place mostly inside the sea due to the ship which are having the damage due to accidents so these are cleaned by the pseudomonas putida species which is called as superbug let's move to the next question the next question is identify the incorrect statement regarding the pcb so the statement which is wrong is option number one that is they are not water soluble and they hence bioaccumulate let's move to the next question the next question is the toxicity of which of the following metals is not due to the reaction with the sulfhydryl group and here the correct option will be option number four chromium is the one which is not having the reaction with the sulfhydryl group let's move to the question 36 the best way for assessing the organic component of a water sample is the determination of so this is also repeated so the correct option will be option number one total organic carbon is the best way to assess the organic component of water sample so the next question is the self purification of the running streams may be due to which of the following reason so it is asking that the nature is having what purification technique for the running stream so the correct option will be option number two that is sedimentation dilution and oxidation takes place in the running stream that's why they are self purified coming to the next question this is based on the bis that is bureau of indian standards what is the recommended ph for the drinking water so here the correct option will be option number two yes the bis recommended limit for the ph of drinking water is 6.5 to 8.5 the next question is in the disinfection of water by chlorine the most reactive chlorine species is what so here the correct option will be option number 3 hypochlorous acid is the most reactive chlorine species in the disinfection of water by chlorine let's move to the next question the next question is the temporary hardness of the water is caused by which of the following compounds so here the correct option will be option number 3 magnesium carbonate causes the temporary hardness of the water but you should comment me in the comment section that what are the chemical that are responsible for the permanent hardness of the water so the next question is the percentage concentration of which of the following ions is highest in sea water so it is one of the frequently asked question and here the correct option will be option number 2 chloride ions are highest in concentration in sea water followed by the sodium ions then sulfate ions followed by the magnesium ions so you have to remember this one it is very important next is in which of the following ecosystems the food wave involves more species and more trophic levels so the correct option will be option number 2 ocean ecosystem 
Time for the assertion and reasoning question. The assertion statement states the available energy of an ecosystem decreases with the length of food chain. The reason given here is at each transfer of energy in food chain, a large proportion of potential energy is lost as heat. So it is very easy. The correct option will be option number one, as both the statements are true. And reason is the correct explanation of assertion. That means from one tropic level to another, the energy is lost as heat. As you can say, it can be Lindemann's theory of 10% energy loss. The next question is: the origin of eukaryotic cell on Earth took place how many million years ago? So this kind of question is also asked. The correct option will be option number two. 1850 million years ago, the eukaryotic cell took place. Their origin on Earth. Let's move to the next question. The next question is: the next question is the ratio of energy transfer at different tropic levels in a food chain is called as what? So the correct option will be option number two: ecological efficiency. Is the ratio of energy transfer at different tropic levels in a food chain? Time for the next question. The next question is. At which stage in ecological succession an ecosystem exhibits photosynthesis is equal to respiration rate? So here, the correct option will be option number three. Yes, in climax stage, the ecological succession, the photosynthesis is equal to respiration rate. Time for the forty-eighth question. The forty-eighth question is the species determining the ability of large number of other species to persist in a community are called what kind of species? So here, the correct option will be option number two. Keystone species are the species that determine the ability of large number of other species to persist in a community. The next question is: Biodiversity increases or decreases according to which of the following option? So you have to choose the correct option. And here, the correct option will be option number four. B and C are correct. Yes, because the biodiversity decreases toward the Arctic region. For example, this is Earth and this is the equator. As we move towards the Arctic region, the biodiversity decreases. Similarly, option number C, that is, it increases towards the equator. So, as we come from the pole to the equator region, from both the sides, the biodiversity increases. Let's move to the next question. The next question is: The Arctic tundra is situated around which of the following latitude? So the correct option will be option number one. Yes, as we note, Arctic place is situated in the North Pole. So here South will be not there. So that's why the correct option will be 66.5 degree North is the location of Arctic tundra. Let's move to the next question. The next question is the main limiting factor governing the primary productive in pelagic zone of the ocean is what? So here the correct option will be option number A, B, and C. All these light available nutrients and number of primary producers are the limiting factor governing primary productivity in the pelagic zone. But the tidal current will not be the option. Let's move to the next question. The next question is: the nature of food web at the developmental stage of a succession is what kind of? So here the correct option will be option number one. The food web is linear in nature. And predominantly grazing stage is seen in the developmental stage of succession. So option number one will be correct option. Next is the match the following, and we have to match the endangered animals in the place where they are distributed in India. So we'll match one by one. So lion-tailed macaque is present in the Western Ghats, and golden langur is found in the Himalayan foothills. Spotted linsang is found in the central and eastern Himalayas. And palace cat are found in Jammu and Kashmir. So option number two will be the correct option. Let's move to the next question. The next question is the reproductive isolation of population leads to what kind of change? So here the correct option will be option number three. Speciation takes place when the reproductive isolation takes place in a population. That means new species are formed. From one species. Time for the next question. The next question is in the context of local environment, helioplankton refers to what kind of plankton? So here, 
the correct option will be option number 2 the helioplankton refers to the pond plankton don't get confused by the salt water plankton because they are called as heliophytes those who live in salt water they are heliophytes they are not helioplankton let's move to the next question the next question is the match the following in which the list 1 comprises of the ecosystem services and list 2 comprises of their function so we'll match one by one the provisioning service leads to the pharmaceuticals that is we get medicine from the ecosystem similarly the regulating system of the ecosystem services will match with the carbon sequestration process the cultural supportive nature of the ecosystem service that is cultural nature will be recreational and supporting ecosystem service will be nutrient cycling so the correct option will be option number 2 let's move to the next question the next question is in temperate lakes the upwelling replenishes nutrients turnover during which season so here the correct option will be option number a that is autumn and spring season only the temperate lakes upwelling condition replenishes the nutrients turnover coming to the next question the next question is according to the river continuum concept of vanot et al 1980 the major sources of energy in medium sized streams are what so here the correct option will be option number 3 yes fine particulate organic matter algae and aquatic plants are the major sources of energy in medium sized streams but this coarse particulate organic matter doesn't come into the consideration let's move to the next question the next question is very easy i guess all of you will be able to answer when is world biodiversity day celebrated so the correct option will be option number 2 may 22nd So the next question is a Ramsar site that is related to wetland not able to perform its ecological functions comes under which of the following category of protocol or record So here the correct option will be option number 2 Montreux record Let's move to the next question the next question is for the scientific research or investigation the chief wildlife warden may grant the permission to public to enter a sanctuary under which of the following act So here under the section of 28 of wildlife protection act 1972 the chief wildlife warden may grant the permission let's move to the next question the next question is power to issue notification reserving the trees or class of trees in a protected forest lies with which of the following member so here the correct option will be the power lies with the state government Next move to the next question the next question is which one of the following is a cultivable species of tropical earthworm and here the correct option will be option number 4 polyferrotema elongata so it is not elongate it is elongata the cultivable species of tropical earthworm let's move to the next question the next question is slow down slope movement of water saturated rock that is water saturated rock mass which is not confined to a definite channel is called as what So remember slow down slope movement and here the correct option will be the term used is soliflexion Next is isogons are the points which join beds of what so it is and here the correct option will be option number 1 yes isogons are the points which join the beds of equal deep amount Let's move to the next question the next question is in landscape ecological studies the term landscape process includes what and here the correct option will be option number 2 yes only a and b that is exchange of materials and energy and exchange or movements of organisms is the process included under the landscape process let's move to the next question the next question is a drawn river valley estuary is formed when so when this condition of drawn river valley takes place the correct option will be option number b yes the sea level rose at the end of the last glacial age invading lowlands and rivers that means jab sea level rise kar jata hai in the last glacial age that invades the lowlands and river making a drowned river valley estuary so that's all in this part of the video if you want to check the important playlist i have given the link in the description below you can go and check the previous videos 
and if you like this video don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed till now see you in the next video till then take care and keep learning